Hello there and welcome back to Chatlington Valley. I've got a windrow here on the back of the fence and what we're going to do is windrow up this hay in field 36 that we cut last time out and then at some point Susie's going to bring the class along with the baler and then we'll probably swap. Susie will carry on windrowing with the fence and I will be in the class bailing up. Most of the collection of the bales with the auto load bale trailer that we got, but part of me just wanted to have a go at loading the final four on manually with the fent and the front loader, so I'm just going to have a go at that. After all, this is all about having a bit of fun and enjoying ourselves as well. I've already got we've got full trailer full already and I don't think we're gonna be that heavy on our needs with the animals that we haven't got yet so we're just gonna straight sell these four extra ones Right, just going to pop through here and show you this. The builders from the University of Reading have been very hard at work and they have built us this base station. So it's got a little GPS type receiver on top and what that does is that will send signals out of the GPS in the area and basically make it more efficient when we're working on our fields and possibly in other people's fields. As you can see, I'm just coming to the end of a baling contract. We just 
we had some spare time so it was just let's just jump out in a field do some contracting work we're pretty much done with our one field um, we're hopefully going to be selling some silage bales at some point which will give us some money and then we might be able to buy some more fields and we'll have some stuff to do with those completed and we've got some bales left over we've got 12 of them so I'm going to pop these back at our farm these are ours to keep they're more than what was required for the contract so I think probably what I do yeah I'm not going to put them in the bale shed I don't think just pop them back here I don't want too many bales in too close proximity to each other because lag and things like that can happen so let's just pop these down here I'm gonna get on with some more bailing contracts I think because there are loads of them going well good morning we absolutely smashed out some bailing contracts yesterday um, as you can see from where we are with the finances we've just really kept going with them so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna manually load these bales onto this trailer just I know it auto loads but I thought It'd just be a bit more fun just to have a go manually after all. We're all about having a go and this being fun. So let's have a go. Can we get two at once on here, I wonder? Let's see. Lift it up. Nope, nope, no. Let's go back down. 
two at once is not going to work. So let's line up again and let's just go for one, one at a time. That's not going to get slow and tedious. It's rolling, it's rolling, it's rolling. Okay, I'm going for a new tactic because um, the old one didn't seem to be working. I'm going to manually load them with the trailer set to auto load. So I will get them to the trailer one by one on the bale fork and then the trailer will just stack them much more neatly than I could ever hope to manage. There we go, drop it off, oink, there we go. Magic. And I'll just keep doing this until we get down and get a load down to the biogas plant. down at the biogas plant with a full load of 36 bales on the trailer. Now before I commit to unloading these into the biogas plant I'm just going to give them a quick check. So I've made them real rather than ethereal and we're going to check. Okay so we've still got a bit of time to go before these are actually silage at the moment these will sell as grass. Oh no, we've got some that are silage. Okay, so we've got some that are finished, some that aren't quite finished. Yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll hang around for an hour and give them a try in a bit. Some time has passed, and the bales are now all silage. So this is the moment of truth. I don't know how this biogas digester works. I'm hoping I can just drive into the hazard mark box, and it will all just magically disappear into the silo for me. Which it's not doing. Is it a dodgy trigger point? Let's have a little wiggle around. No. Right. Bear with me. I have an idea. So, I've been and got the wheel loader. This probably will not be elegant. I am warning you now, look away if you are faint-hearted. Okay. Did that work? Yep, yep, I think that's... Oh! I, I, I warned you, what can I say? I warned you that it would not be elegant. Okay. Um, 
you'll notice I'm also cheating and I'm using the big bag handler on the wheel loader, but we don't have a bale fork. Ooh, this is getting a bit wild. Yeah, we, we don't have a bale fork for the wheel loader, so... Right, ignore this bit. Pretend what you just saw did not happen, okay? I'm going to do what I should have done and move it over here. That would be more sensible. Right. I'll leave you and I need to focus on this because otherwise I'm going to make a mess of it. Sorry, I'm going to make even more of a mess of it. Right, these are the last two bales that are remaining and they are just sitting on top of the digester, chugging away. I have discovered there was a minor incident during the initial enthusiasm with bales and this is locked behind here. I hope at some point I might be able to get that out. That's not going to happen on camera. I'm going to try and do some stuff slightly limited by not being able to use PC mods but I think this is a very good place to call it for today so thank you very much for watching please jump on the like button subscribe if you're not already subscribed and most importantly have a great day